Krav Maga is a fantastic form of self-defense, but it will not make you the strongest fighter on earth or the most dangerous man in self-defense on the street. And it's not meant to. So let's talk about what Krav Maga is and what it is not. Krav Maga is the self-defense or fighting system of the Israeli military. Now, most people think, oh, that means it's got to be badass. Yeah, it is badass, but we'll come to that. It means basically close combat and it's close combat. It is based on military, military combat. So that means not that it is here to make the most dangerous hand to hand fight on earth because soldiers are trained to kill. Well, that's true. Soldiers are trained to kill, kill with weapons and in a team. That's the whole point. Military hand to hand combat serves two main purposes. First of all, it's meant to give you a chance in the very unlikely and undesirable situation that you have lost your friends and lost your primary and secondary weapon and are being under attack. So that's a situation that basically should never ever happen. But if it happens, you better know a bit about what to do. And secondly, it, military hand to hand combat is here to train your mind. Because military training is most of all not here to make the most effective fighters. Military encounters are usually won by numbers, by asymmetric fighting, by having more soldiers and the better technology than the one you are attacking. Right? That is how military be, uh, how fights are being won. That's why military invests so much money in better technology, better fighter jets and whatever. Let's not talk about it too much. That is also the reason why military hand-to-hand -hand combat training is very limited. Usually it's a couple hours, one day or two days out of half a year of training. Like here in Switzerland, you have six, year, six <laughs> months of mandatory military training and it's one or two days of hand-to-hand -hand combat. All the rest is a bit of shooting, how to handle your weapon, how to clean your weapon, how to keep your weapon working. Right, we have quite a good shooting. You learn to shoot on 300 meters. Every soldier learns to shoot 300 meters. Needs to hit this one, but also let's not go into too much detail on the Swiss military training. And most of the other training is about how to behave in a group of military in the squad, how to follow orders, how to go then and there when you are being taught, because that's how wars are being won. That means it's not here to make the best hand-to-hand -hand fighter. It's here to be the minimum of what you need to do. The absolute minimum. It's meant to be a little bit of what can I squeeze if I have just like five hours of training of like 18 year old boys and girls who have never in their life before had any kind of fighting training. What can I teach them? And I will teach them the most basic maneuvers ever that I can absolutely think of. You're being attacked, so you just ah, go all out. You just do anything, something, just do something. And you want to get that into their minds, right? Because most attackers are not ready to meet force. Most attackers, most predatory violence is meant to meet a victim. They are meant to just take you, not to fight you, right? They're meant to just, get, just take whatever they want to. As soon as you're fighting back, most likely it will work. Like statistics show that even mild, um, mildly fighting back has success in 95% to avoid being attacked. Like in rape cases where the woman was fighting back a bit, resisting, it was called resisting a bit. Um, and it was only like... Um, saying no, 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 or trying to keep him off, not even using punches or biting or screeching, just no, 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 please don't. 95% effective because an attacker is not ready for that. And same if they are attacking a man, they're expecting you to cower and just let it happen. And as soon as you're showing that you will resist, they will most likely stop. If they are somebody who's ready to meet resistance, there's probably not much you can do if you don't have a weapon or are highly trained. But in all the other cases, it will work. And that's what Krav Maga is here for, right? 
That also means it's here for the vast majority of people. Because most people, they have day-to-day -day jobs. They are not natural born fighters, right? They don't want to come to the dojo like five times a week for 10 years. That's not what they want to. They just want to learn a bit. They don't want to be ready for 99.99999% of all encounters. It's good enough for them to be ready for 95% or 99% of encounters. Okay? Because it's a payoff, right? How much do you want to invest and how much do you want to get? And most people are not ready or willing to invest training two or three times a week even for the rest of their lives. And we have to respect that, right? Some of us are ready for that. Some of us are not. And for the people who are not ready, most martial arts schools are just like, well, then forget about it. You know, it's your own fault. Just get out of here. You know, either you're the next Mike Tyson or get out of here, right? Either you're willing to subdue yourself to our hardcore old school kung fu training or not at all. And I respect those schools, right? I do not um, judge them. It's good. It's their way. But there are other ways. Okay? There are other ways because there are other people with other needs. And that is Krav Maga, right? And of course, never lie. Don't tell them after a weekend course, yeah, now you can defend yourself against Mike Tyson. That's not true. When I was training Wing Chun, I was being lied to. That's bad. I was being told that, yeah, we are doing self-defense. No rules. You know, those are just fighters with sports. You will just kick their balls and they'll start crying. And I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. I was 11 years old and I was like, yeah, man. Oh yeah, if Muhammad Ali comes, I'm gonna poop, poop, poom. No, I'm gonna tsh, 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 Wing Chun the fuck out of him. At one time, I met a boxer when I was training Wing Chun, and in my mind, 11 year old me was like, ha ha, you fool, now meet your demise. And he was standing there, hands down, being easy, and like, boom, slapping me a bit, and poof, he rocked, he rocked my world. I was like, what happened? I knew the middle line was faster, because I've been, I've been lied to, that's bad. So my keto guys are being lied to. You know, they're being told, oh, you know, with our special Steven Seagal trick, you're gonna throw around like Teddy Renner, 140 kilogram uh, judo Olympic champion, like nothing, you know? Other people in Krav Maga are being lied to. They're being told, you know, if you kick their balls, trust me, John Jones is gonna cry for his mama and you're gonna poke his eye and John Jones has absolutely no idea of eye pokes whatsoever. So you will absolutely destroy him with our two hours course. I've recently seen a course with promising that like 60 minutes of training and defend against any attack. Those are lies. That's absolute, that's fraud, that's scam, that's unacceptable. That, that should be illegal. That should be a criminal offense. And I'm, I'm sure in most other um, professions it is. Okay, not in medicine. People can go around and call themselves doctors and being chiropractors and tell you something about adjusting your bones with like small little touches. Okay, okay, so maybe, yeah, in other professions, there's also stuff like this. But my field of expertise is martial arts, so I care about that most. And it's horrible. And most of the world famous trainers and schools, they're experts in marketing. They're not experts in self-defense, not even experts in teaching. They're experts in marketing. That's why they make a lot of money, because they're best in marketing. And some of the best trainers in the world, you haven't even heard of. I'm following some guys that are like some of the best in the world who are idols of me. And they have like a few hundred followers, if that. It's horrible. So, but besides that, there's very, very good Krav Maga who will be very realistic, who will not lie to you. They will tell you how realistic you can defend yourself. They will make you feel it. They will improve your self-confidence in a realistic manner. And they will help you to be able to try and defend yourself within your possibilities. And that is very good. Everybody should know that. Everybody should learn how to avoid dangerous situations. You will learn it in a good Krav Maga school, okay? I'm never ever victim blaming, not at all, never. If somebody is attacked, if a woman is being assaulted, it's not her fault. 
even if she's naked like spread eagle around it doesn't give anybody the chance it's just that like if somebody steals my wallet you know if i just let it lay around on a bench in a public park it's probably not the smartest move right or if i keep my door unlocked it's probably not the smartest move probably i should not do that if i would not want to be attacked but we will talk about it in another video because you will learn it in a craft maga course okay so how can i avoid dangerous situations how can i recognize dangerous situations and what can i do and not just talk about it it's not of no use to hear it now from me or for somebody else you need to practice it it's of no use to tell somebody just run away when you see a knife that's bullshit people tell me oh i would do this and that and blah 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 blah, blah. you would not you would do exactly what you trained to do and if you have not, haven't trained nothing that's what you do nothing you just freeze let it happen it's a respectable survival tactic you know if you're a woman and the man assaults you and all your life you have thought oh i will fight back like a lion and then he's towering over you 100 kilograms and you're just like oh man i'll just let it happen and then i'm gonna live tomorrow good on you you survived that attack fabulous hope that uh it doesn't hurt you too much the best for you to recover physically and mentally and don't listen to all the people and assholes and your own thoughts telling you what you should have done when you couldn't because you were maybe scared rightfully for your life. But also for men, you think like, oh, you will fight like a lion if somebody attacks you and you will not. Most people freeze and do absolutely nothing. And I was a bouncer for many years. And the vast majority, over 90% of people do nothing when they are being attacked nothing they just wait for it to be over and as i said it's a respectable survival tactic because most of the times it works but it might be even better to learn how to avoid the situation learn and practice you know how to not even encounter the situation than how to avoid the situation maybe it's in your best interest to flee maybe maybe not maybe yes how to fight back and make them stop if you can fabulous it will probably be much better for your mind especially if you have fought back and tried your best or maybe even come out of the situation as a winner unharmed physically and mentally even taught the other person a lesson that they will not forget and maybe even improve themselves that's what Krav Maga can do for you right many other forms of self-defense and martial arts can do that for you but in a good self-defense school, specific self-defense school, you will have a lot of specific scenario training where you will learn and practice specific situations and how to handle them and it will help. And even if it's just a couple hours, it's better than nothing, right? Like many of us have done like um, some sort of, how do you say in English? like a life-saving course where you learn a CPR and stuff like that. And it was just a couple hours. But like I've saved the life of my little baby boy. A couple weeks ago, he was suffocating. He was no breath in or right. He was already blue or gray. And that couple hours of training have saved my little boy's life. And obviously, I'm not as trained or, prof or professional as somebody whose day-to-day job that is. But it was enough to save a life. And in many other situations, maybe you didn't even recognize how you saved your life when he just said no to that man with a stern voice. Or he just thought, oh, I'm not gonna go into that dark alley. Or no, I will not go home with that man. And you saved your life and you didn't even know. Self-defense course can do that for you within a couple hours. That's the worth of it. And it does save lives. Hope you like that. If you want to discuss me, Comments are free, post anything you like, and uh, see you next time.